Hi there, my name is Andrew Eden. Today I'm going to show you how to do roasted fingerling potatoes. Fingerling potatoes are a great potato choice because it's lower in starch and it has this buttery texture once it's either boiled or roasted. So by roasting them today, I'm going to cut them just straight in half. Cut them on a bias just to get a little bit more surface exposed. So once we brown them in the pan, it'll get more caramelization. So I have my potatoes already cut. What I'm going to do is add a fair amount of salt. The reason that I'm using kosher salt, or you could use sea salt, because it, once the potatoes are roasted, you get that nice salty crunch and texture on it. I'm going to add some cracked black pepper. And lastly, I'm going to add some extra virgin olive oil. Just to drizzle. You can shake them up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to preheat my pan. So, I'm going to turn it on to medium high heat. I always check my pan just by putting my hand over the pan just to make sure that it's hot enough. Another good test is if you add a little bit of water and it that uh, evaporates really quickly and it makes that sizzling sound, the pan's hot enough as well. I'm going to add just a little bit of oil into the pan. Ensuring that all areas of the pan get coated. Once it gets hot enough, I'm going to take a little splash of water See the water is sitting in there, but it hasn't made that crackling sound, so it's not ready yet. The pan's hot now, so I'm going to add in my potatoes. And the main idea here is to get lots of color. I like to use my little knife just to kind of flip them so it gets the cut side down, so it gets colored first. If you don't want to get your hands in there, you can always use a set of tongs. This stage here is really important because it ensures that it gets lots of caramelization on the potatoes before you start roasting them. So now that we have good, good color starting to happen on the potatoes, I'm going to add in a little knob of butter. That'll add some flavor. and color to the potatoes. From here, it goes straight into the oven. What I've done is I've preheated the oven to 400 degrees, and from there, it'll roast in the oven for 20 minutes. So the potatoes are now done. I always put my kitchen towel on the handle, that way I know that it's hot, and it also lets everybody else know that it's hot. So I go in, gently lifting them. And you may say, Andrew, how do I know when the potato's done? So I'm gonna let you in on a little chef's secret. Right here, I'm gonna take my paring knife, and I pierce it in. And if it pierces in easily, and can be lifted out easily, the potato is perfectly cooked. And there we are. Simple roasted fingerling potatoes. Bon appetit.